Okay. So well played. Um, I guess England had a bit of a. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> England played a mix of um, spin and seam today, sort of having picked up that I guess the, the seam was working through those middle overs and that sort of thing. But what's it been like to sort of be able to adapt like that and be a part of, you know, a bowling attack that can sort of have a lot of bases covered? Yeah, I think it's, oh, I think it's really exciting, obviously, to have that much depth in our squad. I think whoever we put on that field is going to do a great job and Belly came in saying did an amazing job so I think it's great to have that uh, just like the all round performance from everyone and like the ball and attack to have that much strength to it. And your own performance today, fantastic. Um, just how have you felt, you know, through the tournament and what sort of things have you been focusing on for yourself? Yeah, obviously I didn't feel like, uh, like my best in the first game. I think that was just first tournament, first game not played for a while so yeah, it was great to come back into South Africa and bowl and uh, it's coming out really nicely so it's come out really nicely towards the end of the tournament, which is really nice. And uh, last one for me, just sort of looking ahead, you know, to the rest of the tournament, how are you guys are approaching it now? We had a conversation this morning about what the distractions are, and I think that's, we sometimes get a bit ahead of ourselves, so I think it's staying in the moment, staying present, and we've got a big game on Tuesday, we know that, against the West Indies, and we needed to win today, and we needed to win on Tuesday to put us in the best position possible. Hi, so if you're well bold. Um, you know, so many teams and players tell us about staying in the moment and, and staying present. Um, what does it actually mean? Like, how do you actually do it? I think a massive one, personally, is that I just enjoy myself. I think you never know when your last game for England is going to be, uh, as brutal as that is. Like, so I think it's going out on that pitch and enjoying yourself. And, yeah, and we've got a great group around us, so we all enjoy ourselves and we play our best cricket when we're all enjoying ourselves and, yeah, staying present. And in terms of, of conditions here, I mean, what have you found, in t you know, have you enjoyed bowling on these types of pitches? I know obviously the weather can be tough, but um, what's been the most enjoyable thing? Yeah, it's been really interesting for me. I think it's, I've been comparing myself to other spinners sometimes about how much bounce and how much turn I get compared to others. And I think I stop, need to stop comparing myself to them because I get so much more bounce. Uh, so my lengths vary from bit pitch to pitch and like spinner to spinner. So yeah, it's been really interesting. It's been a bit of a challenge for me. Anyone you want to tell us who you're comparing yourself to? Honestly, I just compare myself to someone like Glennie and Charlie who bowl different to me. Obviously, Glennie's like just in, in house really, and Dino's obviously bowled a bit quicker. Uh, and yeah, so I think it's just I'm getting a lot more bounce, so my levels can be a bit different to theirs. Hi, Sophie. Congratulations on your bowling performance and the victory today. I know you've mentioned a couple of times that you guys would want to stay, would have wanted to stay in the present and up until now. But from this point onwards, one, potentially all three remaining games for England are in Dubai, could be in Dubai. Uh, so have you sort of assessed those conditions based off the games that have happened there? Has there been any discussions within the bowling group about, you know, comparing the two conditions and, you know, preparing, planning for them? Honestly, we've been very boring. Uh, literally, as I say, we take it one game at a time. We literally have been. I uh, think it's just assessing on the day uh, how much they've changed at Sharjah. The pitch was a lot better today. So uh, getting to Dubai on Tuesday, we'll start assessing from now and see what that's got to offer on Tuesday. Hi, Sophie. Congratulations Hi. today. Thank you. Can you just take me through maybe about, I think, end of 2023, you were just coming off a surgery and then there was a lot of, there was time where they were considering workload management for you to realize you shouldn't maybe exert yourself a little too much. And at that time, John Lewis had said, she's just itching to bowl all the time. I don't know how to keep her back. She just constantly keeps nagging me to go have a bowl. From there to now, because the World Cup, the two World Cups, this one and the one next year, is sort of what every player wants to be there for. Can you just take me through what your mental makeup was when you weren't allowed to bowl as much and if this World Cup was ever at the back of your mind, just to be ready for that at that point? Yeah, it's also really interesting. I think your workloads vary from month to month, uh, depending on what niggles you get. I'm getting a bit older now. I'm not as young as I used to be, so uh, it's really interesting now. But yeah, obviously it's not ideal when I can't bowl. Like, that's what I love doing. That's all I've ever known. So I was told I can't bowl, especially when I got injured uh, last year. was awful for me. I felt a bit lost, uh, especially with Everton were losing as well, so it wasn't ideal. Uh, but, um, yeah, so it wasn't ideal for me, but I think it's, yeah, no, it's glad to be back and as people say, there's a tournament next year, World Cup, but yeah, staying present, staying in the moment, we've got this World Cup to win first. 
Right. And in this group, you're sort of because you have the world ranking, you're so effective across multiple surfaces, you've sort of emerged as that leader of that group in a lot of senses. What does leader Sophie look like in that bowling group? Are you able to tell people, you know, this is how my assessment is. Maybe you should do this. Maybe you should do that. What is that think tank looking like among the players? No, definitely not. Uh, we work as, especially with the four spinners in the team, we all do different things. So I think it's massive about communication. Uh, Dina does things a lot differently to the lead, so I do them. And I'm still learning off Charlie, uh, Glennie and Lindsay uh, what that, what, about how they go about their work. So, yeah, it's obviously really interesting for me and uh, I need to keep learning as I get older. And you like a challenge. So the ones up against you next is West Indies where you have some big hitters who are trying to clear the boundary as much as possible. Have those plans started? I know you guys are saying you're going to take it a day at a time and sort of really figure it out. But we've seen West Indies ebb and flow in a lot of ways with their batting. So any like opening thoughts just about how you're going to approach that batting lineup? I think it's very exciting. I love going against the world's best and me and Deandra have great battles when we play against each other because we are people that want to get one up on each other because we play against each other so often and play in the same teams with each other. So I think it's really exciting. I'll start looking tonight at how they, how they go about the things, but I'm not going to concentrate on them too much and uh, go about the way I'm doing stuff. Right. And last one for me, if that's okay. There's an India-Australia game, which doesn't matter to your group, but are you going to be watching it just to take a look at what the opponents are doing in the other group as well? Um, see what time we get back because our team faff a lot so by the time we get back it might be halfway so but yeah I'll definitely be tuning in uh, and watch I think it'll be a great viewing for everyone to watch and yeah the best team will come out on top perfect go well thank you all done perfect